All right, guys, here we are down at Golf Central tonight. Third instalment. Yes. Check out the other ones. Mizuno M Part 3. MP18, MP8 and SC, and this is the MP18 MMC. Multi-material cavity composite. It's basically, it's Mizuno's first multi-material iron other than just say uh, their single bit of steel. I mean, there's, yeah. there's been bits and bobs here and there, like titanium in the MP15 and all that stuff, but there's other. So it's 1025E um, HD as well mm -hmm. in their uh, grain flow forging. There is titanium, yeah, titanium in, in, the in the backish sort of heel section, yeah, middle to heel thereabouts, pardon me. And then in the seven iron up, so seven iron through to well, seven six five four three three, and then there's twos in the fly highs, and we'll get onto them in a sec. But tungsten as well. Yeah, tungsten in tow. A um, little bit reminiscent of the Titleist, uh, the TMBs and that sort of stuff. Yeah, it's, uh, correct. In the tow now. I don't know the science behind the tungsten in the toe, personally, but... Uh... Basically, what happens, in, in and most people don't quite know this, and this is where the blade, it's a little bit different, sweet spot in a blade more towards the heel than it is in the middle of the club. Okay. Um, because, let's say, you go from this section here, and I, don't, I don't know if we'll be able to see, I'm not going to get that close-up, but as you can see there, this section here has more mass in it than this section here because you've got shaft, you've got hosel, yeah, you've okay. got yeah. a lot more mass in this kind of third of the of the of golf the club or yeah. thereabouts so to get sweet spot more in the middle or to get less uh, twisting you need to put heavier weight out in the end and okay. tungsten is one of the I think heaviest or more dense metals, metals yeah. um, that can um, merge or be welded or to be forged into mm. um, carbon steel yeah uh, so that's basically what it is it's it's designed to actually give a bit more forgiveness on toe shots miss strikes across the face bring center of gravity a bit more towards the middle mm. um, and just makes it overall more forgiving yeah a lot of a lot of uh, manufacturers nowadays are putting tungsten into the clubs in places yeah um, in, into the mid to long lines they're, they're, yeah. they're doing it a lot more yeah like Cobra I think has a board in the Wilson the V6 V6s yep um, like the Tylus obviously yep so it's Obviously, it works. So again, I, I'll be interested to see how they, well, how they come off. I'm so, going to have a hit yeah. with the yep. four iron first. <laughs> so straight into so, it. Just go there. I have hit these. Um, I have got numbers now. Numbers, they're longer. These are distance-wise, ball speed-wise, longer than the MP18 blade and the MP18 SC. It's expected, though, really, isn't it? A little bit bigger head, a little bit bigger heel to toe. A little bit more technology. A bit more weight behind the ball as well, lower down. Yeah, and that's the thing with having the tungsten towards the toe, it, it makes that sweet spot effectively a little bit bigger. Yeah. And when you do miss hit it, it comes off a little bit faster. But uh, ball speed wise is like two mile an hour quicker. For the same, and I mean, two mile an hour is not heaps, but two mile an hour is two mile an hour. There's yeah. a couple more meters in that. Yeah, okay. Than say the blade. Yeah. Of course, if you're going to spin it an extra thousand, it's not going to get that, but that's what yeah. you need to be fit, and that's what Mizuno do the best at. Yeah. So we should do to see how these ones feel, because the SCs uh, that we hit in the other video, uh, I found the feel of them, obviously, compared to the blade, is a bit different. He's nutted, though. I wouldn't say no. So what's the first, did, first impression of the feel and the sound? Firmer. Did you hear that? Yeah, yeah. It, it did sound a lot more solid. I don't know if you'll hear it in the video, but it sounded not they, not clicky. No, not, no, it's not, definitely not clicky. But just like just so like, solid. Like there was weight behind it. Yeah, it's it, it's definitely a louder noise. Um, it's not, again, it's not repulsive. No, no, it's not offensive by any means. But it definitely is louder. Okay. And, and then maybe that's where I'm going to say it feels firmer. Right, okay. So, sound is feel. If I was to block my ears, then I probably wouldn't notice the difference much. Okay, yeah. Uh, I might try to hit this one a bit higher. Which it did. As it did. Um, and it's come off the face fine. Yeah, it's still... If anything, it, might, it does look like it comes off a bit hotter it does. Um, than, like, that's than the blades. But again, you sort of expect that going from a full yeah. forward what blade. Do you I'll hit the six on. Yeah, sweet. Yeah. But because Kieran hasn't hit this yet, um, it'll be very interesting for him. But it 
De and look, that pitching wedge actually doesn't look too bad as well. It's kind of like the uh, SC. It's a little bit bigger again. Um, from a combo point of view, all of these clubs are going to be fantastic to go from, uh, let's say you're slightly high handicapper, going from the MMCs to 7-iron down. Going 7-iron um, down, uh, and then maybe the SCs from 8-iron uh, down. Maybe that could be a great combo, but the way they look beside each other, uh, then there's not too much difference between them. As you can see, the difference here in the 6-iron to 6-iron to 6-iron, that's the blade, the SC in the middle, and then the MMC. <sighs> they certainly will work as a flow set. Yeah, Sorry, I'm going to try that as well. Because <laughs> that last one sounded really good. Yeah, yeah. Now, what are your thoughts straight away on, on um, feel? Uh, it's, again, it's another step. It's very similar to the SC. Yeah. Uh, I don't think that the step from the blade to the SC, that that amount of difference isn't the same from SC to this one. Like this one's a little bit closer to the SC. To the SC. Uh, the, 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 the blade has its own, it's its own feel. It's, it's, a, it's its own club, and as it should be, it's a blade. Now, difference between the SC and this, not too much looks-wise. Heel to the... <laughs> yeah. It's hard to hit, especially when it's getting colder. It's um, the, the heel to toe is a little bit longer in the um, MMC. So as, as you basically go from the blade up to MMC, it progressively gets longer from heel to toe. Top line gets a little bit thicker. Sole gets a little bit thicker as well. Also the camber, there's a little bit more camber on the MMC and the SC. Jeez, there's a lot of MMs and SCs. and yeah, a, lot of, a lot of different letters involved. <laughs> I'm confusing myself, but... The biggest thing is for me, and what they've done brilliantly in the MP18 range, is that you could flow a set. You could literally go MMC in 4 and 5 iron, and then you can go SCs, 6 iron, 7 iron, then you go blades mm. down, and it's not going to be too bad to look at. Yeah, so that first time we pulled these out of the bag earlier tonight, yeah. I did say that, I said war. Well, Actually, you did too. I, I would not be, I would not think twice about going the, you can't call them game, game improvement, because no. they're just not at that level. No. The easier to hit four yep. and five iron maybe even six iron seven and eight in the uh the sc or to be honest i'd probably even go straight to the blade yeah and, seven on and that's the thing like first of all you said uh, these are the ones in the middle yeah yeah i so, definitely so the scs are the progression of the mp18 blade yes kieran straight away looked at these and gone oh is that the one that sits in the middle thinking that the sc was actually bigger yes oh, i on, on looking, yeah, yeah. on you, first impression. First impression, yeah. you instantly went, oh, but you know, beside each other, you can tell that it's slightly bigger. Yeah, it, it's not. But again, it's not it's massive, not is it? No, no. Again, this has been done by a craftsman again. Yeah. It's been zip, zip, zap by the guys, in the master craftsman at Mizuno, and then it's been turned into a mold, and then here, this, the finished product. And so. you can tell. You can tell that there's been time and effort put into the initial design of these things. And then obviously, with Mizuno, with it point however many, one of a millimetre or whatever it is. They're very, inch, very well, good at what they do, Very Mizuno. meticulous, yeah. Basically, you can tell. Basically, these have been designed by a person, not a computer. Yeah. Like some, it's like a computer's design. It's literally a person's gone in there with their eye and they've gone, let's take this out, let's grind yeah. this, let's do this, and this is the finished product. And, and that's why... They are irons that touch the soul. They are. They Hashtag are. irons that touch the soul. They Hashtag just... nothing feels like a Mizuno. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a Mizuno fanboy. We all know it. You've oh, seen the other dear. videos. You've seen the, the irons I'm using currently. Yeah. But uh, again, looks wise as well, super clean, super simple. They just look great. Like, it... To tell you the truth, and I'm going to mention another brand here now, Titleist, I reckon there's going to be a lot of people maybe sneak out of an AP2 into maybe these. Maybe even the SCs. I wouldn't be surprised. Maybe even in the blades. <laughs> and even Ian might think so too. Anyway, guys, there is three sets, the MP18, MP18, uh, SC, and the MMC. Go check them all out. Go hit them. Uh, tell us what you think if you've hit them, if you've seen them. Yeah. Um, go, go to a fitting day, go to a test day, whatever it is, and, and just play around them. with them. Yeah, I just mean... Especially the guys, uh, last time I spoke to a Mizuno guy, we did a bit of a, uh, a shaft fit, so we did put a, a slightly longer shaft in it, because I'm not used to these ones, they're a bit smaller. Yeah, Mizuno's quarter inch shorter than most other standards. Yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. Um, but yeah, go, have a try, have a hit. 
and get fitted. Put it this way, even if you're a JPX 900 hot metal guy, yeah. have a look at the blades, have a hit of the blades because they are something special. Oh yeah, they're just another world. Yeah. Beautiful. Guys, thanks for checking the video, like, share, subscribe, but check out the MP18 range and uh, we'll see you next time. Stay tuned, check out the other MP18 videos as well. Sounds good. Thanks guys, we'll see you next time. Thanks.